Ugly game today at Don Edwards Park as the Copperheads lose this one 4-2 to two to the Licking County Settlers. Hello everyone, I'm Ryan Boyd and I'm joined by Jacob Corrigan and, and Jake. The offense really didn't do enough today. They let a lot of opportunities slide by and, and not only that, the pitching was really horrific overall. You had a lot of walks, five guys hit by pitches. I mean, really everything that could have gone wrong did go wrong and that caused this loss. Yeah, and it was a, it was a tough game and Licking County is a good team. You can't make that kind of mistakes. The fact that they made all those mistakes and they were still in the game to the finish uh, was really something that I think they should, you know, they should build on is the fact that they were still in this game. But, you know, the walks came back to bite them again. Last Yesterday they had a ton of walks. The pitcher struggled that way. Today was the hit by pitch. They hit five guys uh, with pitches, three out of the four runs. Two were walked in. One was a wild pitch that scored a run. Uh, so the conference kind of gave away some, some free bases, gave away some runs today in an ugly game. But you got some production, you know, some bright spots offensively. Uh, Matt Blom had a good game in his first uh, you know, his first start, uh, two for four. Uh, just you know, had a good game. Mike Fish drove in a run. So offensively, you had some pluses, but you know, pitching was, was just not there. Anymore. As I said, it came down to blown opportunities. The Copperheads had the bases loaded and some runners on in a number of opportunities. And then, and then as far as pitching was concerned, uh, you can say as much as you want about the walks and all that type of stuff, but even some of that happened with two outs. And you look back to that fourth run that was scored, Raider got two quick strikeouts and then put runners on base, gave up a hit here or there, and that wild pitch let the run in. So a lot of mistakes in this one. But the Copperheads will be back in action on Friday as they take on the Xenia Scouts at Bob Wren Stadium. So they'll look to get back on track in that one. Uh, but with that being said, please make sure you check into all of our media. I say it all the time, but go to our Facebook page, our Twitter page, YouTube, even to our team website at copperheadbaseball.com. We have it all for you there. Uh, but he's Jacob Corgan, and I'm Ryan Boyd. This has been a Copperheads Recap.